Is it 2020 or 2024? Why are we seeing a rematch between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump? Both candidates poll poorly, and Trump is besieged by legal woes. Both are seen as too old, although polls show more Americans worry about Biden, who is 81 on Election Day, compared with Trump, who would be 78. Why is there no other choice? Trump, he is the champion of grievance, uh, really connected with his base on that specific uh, dimension. And when it comes to Biden, he is the only candidate that Democrats see that can actually defeat Trump. Both men benefit from a political system that favors incumbents and wield great influence within their parties. Biden won the New Hampshire primary, even though his name was not on the ballot. And Trump benefits from a primary process that attracts more ideologically fervent voters, which translates to overwhelming support from his base. In the general election and in the broader Republican Party, Trump is not embraced as overwhelming overwhelmingly as these primary voters are, but the system is almost certainly going to lead to his renomination. Those loyal to Biden see him as a successful incumbent, securing legislative wins, leading the Western response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and presiding over an economy where recession fears have eased. What I'm hearing is we are riding with Biden. Democratic strategist Corinne Grace Freeman said, however, unlike the unwavering support from Trump's base, The progressive wing of the Democratic Party is frustrated with Biden's inability to fully cancel student loan debt and his response to the Israel-Hamas war. There are many people who are like, I cannot support this president, also don't like Donald Trump, um, who just feel like the Democratic Party consistently fails us. Trump and Biden also benefit from a primary system where candidate choices are essentially locked in far in advance due to rule changes made by states. The party primary election dates have been moved back mm -hmm. to the point that most of them will have taken place before March 5th. This means even though there are still eight months to the election, it will be very difficult for a candidate to launch a campaign against Biden or Trump. So unless one drops out and the party scrambles to nominate a replacement during the convention, Americans are pretty much left with these two choices. Patsy Vida Guswara, VUE News, Washington. To make it clear to the American people that you work for them.